Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. Now this week we've got a guest, we've not had him here for a while and in fact he's not here now, he is in sunny Portsmouth I think. It is Rob Driscoll, the bowtie balloon guy. Rob, hello. Hello Greg, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Are you in Portsmouth? I am in Portsmouth, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. I didn't know if you were there or if you were somewhere else doing this, but... Um, no, no, yes. yes. I, am, I am in Portsmouth, uh, yeah, so... Well, welcome back. It's it's, it's nice to see you. It's been it's been a long time. Yeah, it has been um, a while, hasn't you're it? Gonna sh it has. Yeah, I, I can't even remember when the last time was. But it's th th these last few months have gone so fast. It it's, it Have doesn't nice. seem that long ago, but I know. But it, it was actually quite a long time ago. So you're going to show us a um, a Christmas design today. I am. But yeah, exciting. I'm, Christmas is I am quite excited about quick, this. isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is. But before we do that, how has everything been for you for the last six, well, seven, eight months now? Yeah, well, quiet, I guess. I mean, uh, uh, as yeah. you know, I'm, a, I'm an entertainer, so everything I did was just cancelled, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I lost every, every show that I had booked in and it, it all came to a sudden yeah. abrupt end, you know. But, but uh, I've been keeping myself busy, really. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think that's the main thing, isn't it? I've seen you've put yourself in a cupboard. I have, um, yeah. I built myself cupboard. A, a cupboard, and a balloon been... cupboard, and I did a few live shows, which was fun. Yeah. Uh, we should explain to people shows. what the balloon cupboard is. What, yeah. what, what, what so, is the balloon cupboard? So it, my idea was it, was it was a bit like the 80s TV thing, which was the broom cupboard. And <laughs> I, wanted it to, I wanted it to be the Philip Schofield of, of but the balloon cupboard. And it was basically a, a, little, okay. a, a little place I sat with a, a table and I had lots of balloons and I made balloon animals and things and I did it all live and uh, yeah, yeah it was it was just a bit of fun mainly to keep me sane during the um during yeah. the, everything going on yeah but uh, but I, I wanted to do yeah. it for all the local kids you... just to you know give them something to, yeah. to watch and stuff you know yeah okay excellent it's good that you, you you did something and it's very easy to just sit back and do nothing and you know just hope that everything's going to get better but i think sometimes you do have to just take some action do something different you know do yeah, something yeah. new absolutely and do a different yeah. type of filming or, or or whatever to as you say to keep yourself sane it, it was certainly you know a bit of fun yeah. and uh, good to push yourself and put yourself out there isn't it you know yeah i'm sorry it wasn't um, it's not been a good few months for you as you say you you've right. if entertainment isn't happening you, you can't do it but That's it's life, good isn't that it? you you seem very positive about yeah. about the outlook i'm, I'm lucky I've, I've had a few zoom shows i've, I've done uh they're, they're, okay. yeah you know they're, they're not the same but at least it's something you know and i'm, I'm doing a lot of women's institutes as well uh that they, oh, right. so, so I do a lot of the local women's institutes normally, and yet now mm -hmm. because it's all on Zoom, I can go nationwide. So oh, I suddenly right, got yeah. so, I suddenly got a lot more, uh, and I just do a yeah. talk about balloons really, which is which is yeah, Excellent. it's quite it's, it, it's and I know it's not great, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? It keeps me keeps me it's, occupied. It's quite a different demographic to your usual audience. Absolutely, I would have yeah. It's the other end, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, you, you seem quite positive talking to you. Are you are you hopeful for the future? Do you think everything's going to be absolutely? It, it's good? it's all going to be back to normal. I mean, it might take a while, but it, it'll get there. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I'm I feel optimistic about it all, and uh, it's oh, all meant to happen for a reason. So you know. I've got a big question for you. Go on. Ed. What's on your bow tie today? Oh, yes. I don't really see it very well. Well, it's on the Christmas screen. Eve. If I come a bit closer, it's penguins. I'm not sure if you can see that. Ah, oh, yeah, right. excellent. Pe penguins. Lovely. So I thought I'd go Lovely. a bit a bit wintry. Have you increased your number of bow ties now? Yeah, I, it, yes. In May, I spent May. My challenge for May was to make a new bow tie every day. <laughs> so I, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, I called it bow tie May, and I, I, I made an extra thirty bow ties. So that takes the, it up to what, 80, 90? Uh, it's about 80, I think, yeah. About 80 odd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's sad, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great. You are the bow tie balloon guy, so that's perfect. I've got to ask some bow ties, yeah. haven't I? Anyway, Rob, let's, yes. let's, let's get going. Show us, show us, well, first of all, tell us what you're going to do and then, and then show us what you're doing. This is what we're going to make, and it is a, uh, a nutcracker. So I've, I've, I've been That's practicing brilliant. this little design recently. It's a, it's a, I want to do something obviously Christmassy, but I didn't want to do a reindeer or a typical Christmas item. I want to do something which isn't yeah. seen so much. And uh, so I, I'm going to show we how to make this, uh, this uh, nutcracker. 
Yeah, excellent. And then the big Nutcracker balloons have been very popular yes. this year. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a few a of the, um, the printed foils and things, which are amazing. And uh, yeah. uh, I just thought, you know, we could we could have a go at that. And I know that the last couple of times I've done for you, I've tended to do a fairly a little bit e simpler stuff. But I want to really yeah. push the boat out and get people, you know, push push the limits of, of skill here. So, yeah. So we're going to make... So the good thing is pe people are going to... Have, people are going to have this video to look back at and stop and slow down yes. and, and whatever. So, yeah. But I guess it's like everything, isn't it? Yeah. Practice. Yeah, I think the crucial thing with this is going to be the fact is if, because people can watch it on YouTube, they can pause it and and maybe get something right and go back and try it again or something and you know you can stop it and start it in various yeah. places. and Yeah, so it's, yeah. Uh, it's good, you know. Okay, perfect. Let's get going then. So um, I'll run through the balloons which we're going to use first. Um, now on this uh -huh. one, I've done the legs in black, the belt in black, and the hair in black. But I'm going to do those bits in grey, just because it's easier to see on screen. All right. Um, okay. Cool. So for the body and the arms, you're going to need some two sixties of whatever colour you need. Uh, I'm going to do it in spring green. Mm -hmm. uh, for the the legs and the hair, you need two sixties in your black or grey, as I'm using. Uh, Okay. For the moustache, I need a grey 160. You can get away with a 260, but it's quite mm -hmm. a bulky moustache. But I use a, a 160 for that. Um, you also okay. need, uh, for the face, you need uh, a, a blush or peach uh, 260. Um, what else do we need? We need a mm -hmm. round for the hat. There's a five inch round black for the hat there. Um, and a gold chrome, or uh, what's the... Um, the Sempertex version called, I've forgotten. Reflex. Reflex, thank you. Thank you. I should know that recently. Uh, for, um, <laughs> the, uh, for the for the band there. So we're going to start with the body. All right. And. Uh, yeah. So how many balloons all together? Sorry. Uh, there are using. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Not, there's nine or ten in there. So it's not too bad. That's amazing, isn't it? When you consider you've got nine yeah. balloons that literally are costing pennies yeah, yeah. and air, and oh, yes. you can create something like that that you could sell exactly. for yeah. w w whatever. That's, that's, that's amazing. I've got a few so. other ideas we, which we can... I, I want to show you this at the end. Uh, okay. What other ideas you can do with it, which I, I think okay. might be nice. I had a brainstorm with someone yesterday and we came up with a few different ideas. So, so, um, yeah. so yeah. So we're going to start with our... our we're going to do our body first. And uh, we're going to start with a, a 260, and I've blown it up, mm -hmm. so there's about uh, about six five six fingers left at the end there. All right, like that. And okay. what we're going to do, we're going to start with this bottom section here, which is the um, is like little yeah. skirt thing. And uh, I will make a bubble, and that bubble is about three fingers, okay, in length mm -hmm. there. So we're going to make four of those bubbles. Okay. There's bubble number two. Now I'm going to whiz through this, but don't forget if you want to pause the video, you can do just to give you a chance to catch up there. So there you have the four bubbles on the bottom, okay. and that is going to be just like that. All right. Simple. Now we're going to come up and do the main body, and uh, that is going to. Uh, come up like that. I I've done mine about six fingers, I guess, in length, six to seven fingers. Um, mm -hmm. It's whatever you think looks a good distance, really. Uh, and then I'm going to come back down with the same length bubble. And then we're going to go up and down again. Okay. And you should have enough to do that whole thing out of one balloon. So that is what we've got there. Okay. Perfect. We put the arms on now, and uh, the arms are the other, the other 260. So we get the other 260 out, and you blow it up about the same, the same uh, length as you did the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom. It doesn't look like they're joined at the bottom, but they are. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to join this the knot into the base here. Yeah. 
Okay. So you've got that there, look. Okay. So you can see it comes straight yeah. out the side of that, that flower at the bottom. Okay. Now, okay. Yeah, yeah. in the bottom there, we're going to do a very small bubble. Like that. Very small bubble there. And what we're going to do then is put in a pinch twist. And the way I do my pinch twist is I'll make a bubble first and then I'll pinch that into the pinch twist. So if I hold that close to the camera, you can see we've got the bubble okay, yeah. and the pinch twist. Like that. And then I'm going to put yeah. another pinch twist in. So we've now got those two pinch twists there. And what that does, that does two yeah. things. That makes the the, the balloon go up at right angles like that. and that's somewhere to put our hand which is going to be like that okay oh yeah okay now we're going to come up at roughly the same length as the body section uh, which you made earlier so this arm here is about the same length as that bubble there and we are going to Make another small bo bubble which is going to be the shoulder and then this is going to join in to the top of the uh, the body here so the way I do okay. that is I slide the whole balloon through the middle and what you should end up with is your arm and then there's yeah, your yeah. shoulder okay yeah yeah now at this point we're going to do two pinch twists and there's my pinch twist on top there there's two bubbles i've mm -hmm. turned into a pinch twist and now we're going to repeat on the other the opposite here uh to match the other side we're going to do a bubble which is a shoulder and then come down for the arm yeah So you're ending up with that. All right, and now we're going to take the two pinch twists on this side. Mm -hmm. Which is like that. There's our two pinch twists. And then finally, we're going to come right in with a little bubble. That is the one that joins it to the flower at the bottom. All right, so you've okay. got shoulder, bubble, two pinch twists where the hand will go and then the small bubble and then everything that's left on there we can get rid of okay. make sure it's tied up you don't want that coming undone and there we have our body I've got one I think you said in one of your balloon cupboard videos is that the thing with balloons is you you've no idea what they're going to be and if you didn't have that one beside yeah, you yeah. you'd have no idea what that, what that was going to end up nothing like, like it. I love the fact that sometimes you get to a point and people are saying it's a spaceship or or <laughs> you yeah. know I love that um, you can have so much fun with, with with balloons like that when you're making them live for people you know uh, but yeah good fun so that's our body anyway now we're going to put okay. our legs on and our legs if I pick up the white balloon I'm going to do them in grey because it'd be easier to see but generally I do them in black I blow my balloon yeah. up here and I've left a, a decent amount on the end there and we're going to make another flower like the one we did on the bottom of the of the uh, the, the body mm. there but this time we've got okay. two big petals and two small petals. So we've got, this is going to be his feet. Uh, there's the front of his foot. Yeah. And then we're going to do another foot. So that's going to be the front of his feet, like that. And now we do yeah. small, two small petals. There's one small one. And these are just small loops. So. And there we have the other small one. 
So you've got those two small petals there, like that. All right. Okay. And you can see its feet yep. forming there already. Now, just to hold that all in place, I'm going to put a pinch twist in here, just by making a small bubble, and then mm -hmm. twisting the balloon around. And what that small bubble does, it goes on the bottom, and it keeps everything nice and flat. All right. Okay, cool. And now we do the legs. So we're going to try and judge how long his legs are. So I'm going to say about, about there, I reckon. That's his legs there, which you then join onto the flower you've made at the bottom here. We're going to join on the other bit of balloon back to the, the loops at the bottom. Get rid of the rest. Straighten everything out and then what you should have is his legs and his body. Like that. Okay. That's great. Now we're going to move so on. How did you come up with this idea to, to do this thing? How, how did you come up with the idea to do this, Rob? I can't remember. I, I remember knowing I wanted to do this. And I, I sat there on yeah. Monday and just played with, with designs. I kind of knew the head idea, but the hair was a, is a new, new idea I've come up with. Uh, to get the yeah. hat to work, but um, yeah, I just sat there and play with it. That's what that's what you do, with balloons. Play with them. And uh, that's I was... fantastic because there's there's only so many techniques, isn't there? There's, yeah. Is there something like there's actually only eight text eight techniques altogether or something in in twisting? How you combine them? It, it can, it's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it does. I, I always say to people who are come who are starting with balloon twisting is just play with the balloons. That's that you learn yeah. so much just by playing with them, you know, and you come up with new ideas and new te new new patterns and designs. Um, mm -hmm. We can put that down for the time being, okay? Because we're going to do the head okay. now, and the head is simply it's four it's four bubbles really. So we're going to start with our our. Um, our peach or blush there and the hair I'm going to do in grey so you can see it nice and easily. Uh, the the grey or the hair you need to pull it up so there's about four or five fingers left at the end of the balloon there. I think grey hair is very fashionable. I think Rob. it is isn't it? Uh, it's, start, it's, starting to, it's starting to get so fashionable I'm going to grow it myself. <laughs> You, you don't have any. I can't, oh, I can't see I, it on the camera. I do, anyway, I do, so. I do. It's well hidden. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just tied those together, like that. All right. Now, okay. normally, when I do this type of head, I, I'd normally do a, a blush ear with a pinch twist would become here. But in this case, I'm doing the ear in the hair, so it, his ears will be tucked in, it will look like they're tucked in under his hair. I see. So, okay. um, yeah. All you're going to do is a pinch twist in the, the hair coloured balloon and that is going to be this bubble here. All right. We're now going to okay. do a, a loop of hair. I've never understand why nutcrackers have long hair. It, it, surely in the, if they're soldiers, mm. they should have short hair, shouldn't they? But, that, that is a very yeah, good yeah. point. Yes. I was <laughs> discussing it with someone the other day. It's like, oh, yeah. Um, but that's the loop of his hair there. All right, and now we're going to do this top bit here, and this is the bit. If I didn't do this okay. bit, he'd end up with a weird gap on top of his head, um, it, yeah, under his hat. And I like this to show that he's got actually got hair under his hat. And all it is is a two-finger bubble followed by a smaller bubble. So you've got a two-finger bubble. Then there's about a, that bubble's about a finger and a half. All right, and then you're going to join. Right. This so. back down here. So all you've got is you've got this, if I hold it nice close to the camera, I've got the two finger bubble there and then back down to the to the to here. 
uh, with everything else. Okay. That there is going to be the bit that fills in the gap there. All right. Uh, we're now going to do his his face and the back of his head, and that is two bubbles. I've just joined them to fit together like that, and they are around about uh -huh. seven fingers in length, like that. Okay. We're now going to repeat everything we've done with the hair, but on the other side, and that is with the pinch twist. Then we've got the loop. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, pause the video if you want to. This is it's good to get these these looking right. Otherwise, you end up with one long bit of hair and a short bit of hair. So you want to try and get them looking the same. I have to say, Rob, if I if I, I, I keep saying, oh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> if I was trying to do this <laughs> alongside, I've no idea what we'd yeah. end up with. Yeah, I, th I think. The, but uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to carry on giving you verbal encouragement. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it, I mean, it's important to just pause that video when you get to a point. You think, you know. Yeah. Just take your time doing it, and, and I'm 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 whizzing through this. So otherwise, it'd be all day, won't we? <laughs> but, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um. So I'm going to repeat this top section here. We've got the the two finger bubble and the small bubble there. Yeah. Those there. It will make sense what those will do in a minute. And now we're going to bring these what we've got left here back to the other side again. So this gives us the, the bottom of his face and the yeah. rest of his hair on the back. Make sure that's tied in. If I get rid of everything here, you should be able to see what I've done. So this is where we are now. We'll get it all out of the so that's what we've got. Oh, throw it away. Okay, yeah. Oh, escape. Oh, come back. There we go. <laughs> He's energetic today. So there we go. So you can see that's the 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 um, yeah. match yeah. in there. All right. Cool. Now we're yeah. going to put the moustache and the nose in now. Uh, you can do it at the end, but it's easier to do it now and get it all done with. Uh, while we can, yeah. while we've got a lot of space to move around. And uh, as I said earlier, you can do the moustache with a 260, but it does end up quite, quite fat. Um, yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Uh, I use a 160, and all I do is I attach the end of the 160 into that pinch twist there on the end. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run it along the front, about halfway along the front there, I'm going to put a twist. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then you can make it all the way to the other side and secure it in. So that's his moustache. Cool. Yeah, nice and easy. Now for his nose. This is a tricky bit. Again, you could probably use a 260 for this, but you'd have a, quite a big, a big nose. Um, I like to use a 160. Yeah. And all you need is you need a bit of balloon, which is about that long. Uh, it's about three fingers. Okay. Okay. Now that's all you need. I'm going to get rid of the rest of the balloon, but this is important. You need quite a long tail. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've got the um, the balloon and then long tail like that. I'm just going to tie a knot okay. in close to the bubble there just to stop yep. that air moving up and down. All right, so I've got a knot right here, not there keeping it in. All right, that's going to be his nose. What that's going to do is it's going to sit here like that. Okay, okay so I take cool. the long, the long bit and I will put that in kind of where his mouth would be. I push it all the way in and I'm going to pull it out the top. Yeah. Like that. All right. I'm now going to pull the nose up the front so it's now on top of his moustache. And these two ends here, I'm going to tie those together mm -hmm. just in a, a double granny knot. 
so that the knot is on top just there yeah and that is his nose it looks quite muppety there i just think it looks a bit like well, who are the two that sit in the um theater oh uh, yeah 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 the grumpy ones the grumpy yeah. ones yeah i always think it looks a bit like a like a grumpy muppet yeah it does actually yeah you're right yeah so that is um that is that's his nose it's tied on there like that all right now uh we're now going to put his head onto his body and this is oh we can sort his hair out as well because we've got these bits that are sticking out and uh if yeah. i show you from the top looking down what you can do is you get your hands your fingers either side you can open that like this look mm -hmm. and what you're going to do is you're going to push a little bit in here you're going to push these double bubbles you made into yeah. this gap here okay. and what that does if you look at it straight on it pushes them in you see that this one's sticking out and i'll push yeah. that on in yeah. so it's actually in the gap i'll show you again is that on there like that what that does it gives you okay. a nice hole here which is where your round balloon is going to sit for this hat okay perfect all right yeah. you're also going to do the same on the bottom you can open it right up so you can see right way through there mm -hmm. and that is where you're going to stick this here his neck and his kind of like the top of his shoulders are going to go straight yeah. in there yeah. so the way to do that if you're doing this for the first time you might get someone to help by holding the the other the other balloon or hold it between your knees but you can see i open it like that mm -hmm. i push everything into that gap and you can see how he now sits there on top so that's just that. that's just friction holding that it's together just friction holding it in at the moment yeah when we put the hat on that will all join it together but at the moment it's okay, just I friction see. all right all right so it's just friction yeah. at the moment cool. but it will all get joined together when we do his hat which is what we're going to do next with this five inch round awesome. we're going to blow that up Rob, speak, speaking of muppets yeah um i asked in the office the other day for people's favorite films and eilis she said uh the the muppet christmas movie or christmas carol and <laughs> matt, matt is actually nodding as well what what is your favorite christmas film muppet christmas carol is it really it is it is i think <laughs> i think it is the best christmas movie by far it's also the best version of a christmas carol you can get anywhere it is it is it's great because kids watch it and it's it's they're learning like literature it is by far the best yeah. christmas movie it's amazing yes that's fantastic that you agree that you think it's the same thing wow i do amazing. like home alone as well but but yeah yeah it's yeah. muppet's christmas carol every year i have to watch it uh it's a it's a regular for me yeah my, my favorite film is a slightly different one Go on, and it's relatively relatively um modern and it's called christmas with the cranks i and love christmas with the cranks <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's John Grisham that wrote it. Really? So he does all these, yeah, yeah. And it was actually called Skipping Christmas. It's a tiny wow. little book about that thick. Wow. And uh, they made it into Christmas with the Cranks. I, I but, look at yeah, John Grisham. I, I, love, I, I love the bit where he gets the Botox in his, in his lips. That's the yeah. one. It, uh, it's, it's, uh, I can remember laughing and out he's, loud. He's poking his forehead with a fork yeah. as yes, well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember sitting in the cinema just <laughs> laughing out loud at that because it was so funny. <laughs> yeah brilliant so anyway um we're going to take this round balloon the knot you got there we're going to stick that straight in there all right now that okay. knot that nozzle is going to attach in here and you can see it in there you've got your two pinch twists which is where his neck and shoulders were you're going to attach that knot nozzle to those pinch twists and the way to do that is you can take his head off if you need I'll show you by taking his head off oh, I'm losing everything again oh. <laughs> you can pull the the, uh, the nozzle yep. straight through the middle of his head and we're going to join this around the pinch twist and then just to get him back so he's not got a wonky head you can push all that back in there so it will sit there and now that is joined on that's brilliant is it um 
Yeah. I love how it all just comes together. In yeah, it's fantastic. It's quite. It's quite. You know, it, it, I know there's a lot going on, but it's it's not too difficult really. Um, I, yeah. I, I will show you some shortcuts in a bit, but I want to show you this first. You know. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the next stage is to do the uh, the band, and I always think it's nice to have a bit of bling. Um, I started. <laughs> I, I I lost me uh, me gold me gold balloons, but I found them. Frankly, so I was starting doing these with all sorts of different colours, oh. like green and uh, thing. But I think it's always nice to have a bit of gold for Christmas. Absolutely. So we're just going to have it a little bit like that, and we're going to wrap that around here. And all I'm doing at the back is going to tie that. into position. I'll show you the back so you can see it. Nothing special, nothing fancy. I've tied them. The ends together like that. Okay. But from the front, looks like that. So you can see he's okay. got a, uh, it all comes together and these hair bits fill in all the gaps and everything. Yeah. Um, I know yeah. the back looks a bit, little bit you could put a pinch twist there, but who's going to look at the back? That's what I was thinking. You know. Exactly. I was going to see it. Um, I always, I, I do a little belt here. I just think it looks nice with a little belt. And that's just, it's a good way of using up your scrap balloons. Um, yeah. Again, this is another 160. Uh, you could probably get away with the 260 if you only have those. I always think it's good to have a few 160s in. They always come in useful here and there. Mm -hmm. That just goes under his arms like that, look. And exactly the same as his hat. And to tie those together. It doesn't have to be tight. The friction holds it mainly. Yeah. And that is his belt there. Like that Fantastic. and I've just tied that there yeah. and that is basically it but all you need to do now is just draw his eyes on here however you want to do what I was doing there with the teeth obviously nutcrackers have these teeth uh, where you yeah. put nuts but I quite I quite like the um a smiley a smiley face but it's up to you whether you yeah, do yeah yeah it's up to you whether you do a, a traditional traditional smile or or a uh, do a smile i like a smile I, li I like a happy nutcracker you know uh, so what's the bit on the front of the hat there Rob? oh yes i forgot about that but yeah yeah so th this is like a, a feather you can do it. again you, you can use a scrap balloon and uh, yeah all I do is I use the the end of a uh, of a yellow one I've got there. Yeah. On this one, I've gone quite complicated. However, okay. I think it might be quite nice just to have a that's a that's a, a little bit less complicated one. It's a straight it's oh, just yeah. a straight one with a pinch twist at the bottom. And the one I yeah. showed you earlier is just a, a bit of yellow yellow balloon yeah like that yeah basically and yeah. it's just meant to be the feather on the front of his hat yeah. and with this just a little bit of balloon long end and i tuck that in the front like that. and then the, the the end goes all the way down through the middle of the head And I tucked that somewhere. I mean, I brought this right down into his body here. Alright. And wrap it around his neck in there. And then if you just straighten it all out, you end up with the feather Brilliant. in his hat. Like yeah. that. And then you can draw the buttons on if you want and so on. Yeah. So yeah. So that is our, um, our nutcracker. Um, I've just put them on the base that's, on that that's one. That's fantastic, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. you know. So that's just a quad there. You've just got four balloons. Yeah. This, on this um, one, I've done a, I've done a six there. there but 
But, um, oh, you've done that, okay. But yeah, I thought uh, on this one down here, these are these are uh, five inch rounds I put on this one uh, to hold okay. that one up. Yeah. That that one is a. That's great. You've done a, lots. A 350 or 360, you know. And uh, yeah. And that's that's it basically, you know. Quite cute, isn't it? Oh, that's brilliant. I, I absolutely love that. I think that's um, great. I've got, oh, the hands. We didn't put the hands on. Oh, Rob, come on, put the hands on. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the hands I didn't even notice. Bit. I know I didn't notice. The hands are these bit. All, all they are is a very small loop like this, look. You need two of those. Yeah. That, that's all I've done. I've just tied a, a loop like that, look. Okay. And then yeah. the hands were just attached to the bottom of those pin strips there, like that. Yeah. Okay. Easy as that. Easy. Super easy. You know. Uh, again, it's just a bit of bit of two sixty, and you could probably do a one sixty one if you wanted. But but yeah. So you said you were gonna you were gonna show us some other bits as well. Yes. So I I I made this one up. Just to show you, you could do a big one, all right? Um, oh wow! Look at that. All I've done is I've just upped everything in size. So we've got a two, uh, sorry, a three, three sixty legs there. Uh, three just yeah, everything. Yeah. I've just gone up one size. Um, uh, and, I see. Uh, okay. Instead of a round for the hat, I've gone for a six. I think this is a six sixty linker loom. It's partly blown yeah. up. Um, and then I've put a 260 over it to look more like a, it's more like, like a bear skin. But that's exactly the same techniques, the whole yeah, yeah. thing, you've used exactly yeah, the same is, techniques. Yeah. All, all I've done here is, is the, um, it, it is all the same. And the 260 is just runs down inside into the head to the bottom of the, of the, um, of the 660 really. So it is yeah. all exactly the same. Um, so that's that. And someone said to me, he said, this would be a good for a base standing of an arch, to either side of an archway. Oh yeah, it'd be um, great, wouldn't it? It would be great, standing guard. And then we came yeah. up with the idea of what if the archway was made of, <laughs> of oh, guards. Oh, wow. Um, and the great thing is, if you change the round balloon for a linker loon, yeah. you can just join those together. <laughs> And you wow, that is fantastic. Imagine yeah. them all going over an archway or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I've just put uh, this, um, this, uh, these flowers in between each section. And I have to say, that's, that's not something very many people would see. So that would definitely be considered unique. That's brilliant. I, I mean, I, what I, just to make it easier and quicker, I've, I've even just changed his body for a linker loon there. Just oh, to yeah. speed it up, really. And you know, just to try and get, um, I prefer this body, but you know, if you want to speed it up a bit. But what I like is mm. <clears throat> it, it's different, isn't it? And it's something that not many it other is. people would do. And so, you're, I think you're giving your you're, you're giving your, your stuff much more value by putting it, you know, something like this in it because it's, it's not seen, is it? You know, it's. Exactly. No, that's fantastic. That and a client that I want to give you something absolutely unique that nobody would have seen anywhere else. Okay, yeah, I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, I can just imagine a, a big row of the big ones going over or something. You know, it's, yeah, it's a uh, with their hats joining in the middle right, or something. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's something else yeah. we've been playing around with. And, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Stay. Fantastic. Well. Well, Rob, thank you so much for, right. for showing us that. That's, that, that's great. Um, I hope some people give it a go and um, I, I'd love to see some results. Um, but if you do give it a go, please, um, please do leave your results. You know, send us the photos. We'll show them on BMTV in the future. But Rob, as, as a guest on BMTV, as you well know, you get to ask the question of the week. Yeah, I always so struggle with like the question. Ask? I always struggle. <laughs> but, but I do have a question because every time you ask me to come in, I, I sit there and I ponder about what on earth am I going to teach? What on earth am I going to share with everybody? And I, I, sometimes I just, I'm lost. Yeah. And so I would like to know what people want to see. Um, if there's something you want to see okay. being, you know, something you want to learn, please say, and then I'll make a list of things and then it gives me an ammunition for future 
for future um, uh, filming, if you have me back, of course, you know. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. So there you go. The question of the week is, what would you like to learn from Rob? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Rob, thank you once again. That was great. That thank was you. Really amazing. And uh, hopefully we'll do something else uh, again very soon. Thank you, everybody out there for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>